Welcome to a quick um, rundown of Microsoft Whiteboard. So on your staff device to access this application, you just go down to the bottom of your taskbar into the search bar. And if you just type in Whiteboard, it will come up and the app is there and just click on it. It will already be installed on your um, school devices. Um, and if it's not, just talk to the IT guys. So um, your screen will come up like this. And if you have any old um, whiteboards that you've used before, they will sit here as well. Um, but we're going to start a new one today. So if you just click on the plus, it will um, open this up. And this is pretty much what your home screen looks like from the beginning. So down the bottom here is your navigation tools. Um, we want to extend that so that we can use it with our um, stylus. If you're not using a stylus and you're just using your finger on your um, touch screen, you can then just tick click on that and it will bring up all your pens and all the applications we're going to talk about in the moment and then you can just click off the tick and then it will go back to the home navigation but we want to link those as one big navigation tool so that we can use it both with our stylus and um, as the touch screen. So up in the right hand corner are three lines um, for settings so we want to click on those um, and if it's your first time using it none of these settings will be set so you want to set them up so that that it is remembered when you come back to use it again and again um, so we want to turn on active pen which is just use of our stylus now as you can see as soon as we did that um, our our navigation tools down the bottom have already changed uh, we want to do link to shape and we also want to turn link to table on we want to turn odd object snapping on um, that's a little bit more um, for your younger years um, as an FYI to high school kids and teachers um, so turn that on as well and then we just want to go outside of settings so now you can see that the navigation tools have now joined as one so that we don't have to be going back and forth because we have our stylus that we're using um, so the first function is pretty simple you can use um, this as a normal whiteboard um, and use your stylus to write as you would on a normal classroom whiteboard um, so you can just click whatever color you want to use there is rainbow and um, also galaxy pen which is a big hit with the younger kids um, but i'll just start with the black one today so um, for example if we're going to do um, a lesson on writing we can just type it up write it up sorry up the top and then we can use different colors as we see fit. Now, if you're not happy with writing um, with your stylus, you can also type. So down here on your um, navigation tool is an add text that you can just add and type. So instead of doing um, the writing with your stylus, now um, if you just click outside of that and then click it again, it should, when we pull it, um, then be able to move as you click and hold um, so that you can put it where you'd like to put it. You can make it bigger, smaller, um, tilt it, do lots of different things to it. Um, you can, I know it's a bit odd, um, copy. Um, you can delete it if you need to. Um, you can edit the text. You can also add color. You can like it if you'd like. And there are some more options. So. Um, Alternate text means that you can add a almost like a side note to it, um, which is a little bit pointless in writing, but you can do that for lots of other things as well. Um, so there's lots of other functions sitting up there as well. Um, and then you've got um, Immerse Reader, which um, will pull this bit up for you. Um, and you can... Um, add voice and things like that that you need to but we're not going to um, do that today so there's just some tips on how to do what you'd like to do um, but for all intensive purposes we're not going to do that um, for this bit so you can there's two different ways to add um, written text onto your whiteboard um, you can then use the highlighter and highlight oh sorry i'll just undo that so, yep, just add the highlighter and you can highlight something important that you want to tell the kids. Um, yep, um, and then if that doesn't work, you've got the rubber. Now, as you rub more and more around, it gets bigger. If you go slower, it gets smaller. Um, so that's the writing tools. Um, then 
when we're um, also using our stylus because we have clicked in the settings um, that recognize shapes. So for example, we can draw a circle um, and then it will recognize that as a circle. Um, you can draw a triangle and all the shapes that you kind of want to draw. And again, if you um, touch them and click on them, double click, oh, no, too small. So you can go in and out as well. So there's lots of fun ones like that, but we're not going to do that today. So if I click on it, I can then just move it. As soon as it's highlighted with the dotted box around it, I can move it kind of anywhere in my um, whiteboard. Again, I can make it bigger or smaller just with sliding my fingers in and out over the mouse keypad. Um, so you've got lots and lots of space to use compared to your um, restrictions of a normal classic or traditional whiteboard in your classroom. Um, the really good thing um, with this as well is that you can um, draw a square, which it will recognize. Just remember to make sure you touch it and there's your square. But from here, because we in the settings clicked the recognized tables, we can actually make these into tables very quickly by drawing some vertical and horizontal lines, like it doesn't have to be completely straight. Um, and then you can add lots of different things. So by touching um, and you can, sorry, by touching it, you can also move it around, but you can also then um, have, pull up the plus and minus buttons so that the one across the top will make you have more columns going across and then this can make more going down. And then we can just double click outside and then inside. It's not going to let me do it. And then just move it around as see fit and we can make it bigger smaller we can turn it there's lots of fun functions now obviously it's a little bit touchy and the more that you play with it um, the easier it will become so then we've got um, our table there now we can add text into our table um, we can so just example um, and then we can move that into the box we can also add um, pictures so down the bottom here I have an image menu um, so you can go to your library you can also go to Bing images and pull that up um, so I can just search for um, something very simple um, and then it can just you can grab that and add it in um, anywhere you'd like again you can make this a bit bigger to add your photo and then move things around to fit. So it's a little bit um, touchy when you first play with it um, and then it just gets more and more easy as you go along and you can move things. So if I'm like, oh, nope, my, I need that there or I need it a bit bigger, I can also um, I can get rid of it if I don't want it anymore, um, which is really good. So you can delete them at any point. Um, it doesn't have to do that, but you can also push your um, redo and undo buttons um, until you get where you need to be. Um, also a quick way to do to clear everything that you need to clear. Um, you can just go straight to your settings again and go clear canvas and that will clear it completely for you. Um, you can also with um, Whiteboard go into um, your settings and you can invite people to come and share them with you. So I could um, invite, for example, um, if I go and find a teacher that I wanna um, do that with. So I could invite um, Michelle Shaw so I could click on that and then she would be in there with me and we can both um, actively participate in the whiteboard, which is really good. Um, you can also you can also post to Teams, um, which I'm sure um, the guys that are talking about Teams will tell you how to do. So you just click on that and it will post it into there for you, which is really great. Um, also, a really good function is um, the ruler. 
um, especially if you're going to try and draw lines and do diagrams and things like that. So you can at any point um, move the ruler. So you would just use your two fingers. So I'm currently using two fingers above the circles and I can just move it around um, wherever I would like to. Um, and then you can just grab your stylus and draw your lines. Um, so it will just draw you a straight line, which is really good. Um, you can pick anyone that you would like to. Again, um, just make sure that you're doing what you want, you want to use which is really good. So then I can get rid of my um, ruler and then my two lines will be where they need to be, which is really good. I can also add a note. So just like we have on our laptops, um, just like a kind of like a post-it note. Um, so you can type um, whatever you would like to do. Um, just add it in there and then um, obviously you can move it anywhere you um, would like to. It has the same functions as all the rest of the applications from the navigation bar um, which is really good. You can also um, like insert a menu so you can add a note grid, a list, um, a sticker. You can also add a PDF and a Word document and PowerPoint. Um, just as you see fit, um, you would just fiddle around with what you want and how to set it because some of them will come in bigger. So you want to zoom in or zoom out. So just again, using your two fingers on the mouse pad is the best way to go about that. Um, so once you have done everything that you need to do, you can either use it with flipped classrooms and talk about what you're doing, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, you can also save um, as many as you like. So if you go back to the home screen, this is the one I was just in and this is the one that I was playing with before. Um, so they will just sit there and do what you would normally do as a save document and you could save something, say, for um, maths or you could save something for English. Um, you could save something for design and technology and have them already there ready to go with bits and pieces and pull them all together. Um, you can also delete them, but once you've deleted them, again, they go away. So you just click on the three dots and you just click delete um, and then it will permanently remove it um, and then you still got your other one sitting there so there's lots and lots of different functions with this um, I would recommend um, playing around with it um, I really enjoyed using the stylus rather than um, my finger or typing just because it felt more um, fluid in what I was doing um, I would also um, have a look at um, all these different object, um, all these different settings down here. Your object snapping just means that your um, objects move around how you like them. Um, I would also, you can also make them look really nice um, with different colors and different backgrounds. Um, it's just completely up to you. Like for maths, um, there's different types of grids that you can use. So you can go through and find what you're after. Um, so if you're doing something with writing, for example, um, you could do it like that. Um, there's narrow lines. So if I was maybe teaching writing to my one students, I would put some lines that are similar to their books so that I could model really well to them. But if I was doing something, um, for example, like maths, I probably would want something um, with some squares or some dots, especially if I was drawing shapes. But if I just wanted a plain background, I can do it that way too. So there's lots of options to make it um, your own. Um, yeah, so I would suggest really having a really good look at different things. Um, and if you have any questions, um, there's some really good tutorials and um, links that I'll put down to the bottom of this video. There is one other function that I um, forgot to tell you about. So um, if you draw, um, say some shapes and you wanted to link them. So if I draw a circle and a triangle, Oh, not a triangle but you know what I mean and a square and I wanted them to stay all together in the same spot I would click on the lasso down the bottom and I would just circle them and that's pretty much linking them all together so that I can just move them all around so they're not going to move out of where they're going um, and then I can um, delete them or cut them or do whatever I'd like to do with them 
Um, so that's, yeah, some of the basic functions. Um, just have a really good play with it. Um, it's actually really helpful, um, especially it will be helpful for when we're both um, not in the classroom, but also in the classroom and we don't have a whiteboard because you can use this on your projector and you can be a lot more fluid in what you're doing. Um, I hope this helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, please email them through um, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.